Hey, what's up YouTube? Asus have released a new gaming phone, ROG Phone 3, which packs a massive battery and a near desktop level gaming spec with more game intended features. Let's have a look into it. Let's start off from the design. Since this is a gaming oriented device, we couldn't expect any sleek design or less weight. The body of the phone is an aluminum frame which acts as a natural heatsink. Speaking of the heatsink, we got a transparent view of the heatsink inside the phone at the back which brings a gaming accent for the phone. And as usual, we got the RGB. Moving to the performance, we got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus 5G which is the first phone to get this chip. Even made a video on that, check that out too. The performance on this device is huge as it equips 16 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, 512GB of UFS 3.1 storage. UFS is nothing but the raw speed to the phone. The Adreno 650 GPU and 5G. This thing is packed totally and I would say this phone is maxed out spec of any Android phone in the world. You could wonder, with this amount of spec, could bring a lot of heat. Well, Asus covered that app with a vapor chamber and a heatsink which sits right on top of the motherboard. In addition, you could get the Aero Active Cooler 3, which is an external cooling fan delivers increased ad flow, especially in the area of CPU and 5G. The display of the ROG phone is equipped with the 144Hz AMOLED display with 1 millisecond of latency, which is nearly a 7 inch display which supports HDR plus content with 113.3% of DCI-P3 color calibration, which gives ultimate color accuracy. It doesn't stop there. For more game intensive actions, Asus brought the X mode for fully utilizing the power of ROG phone. This X mode lets you adjust and customize the many parameters to optimize the performance of ROG phone 3. My interesting part or the feature of this phone is the Air Trigger 3, which brings gamers the extra interaction to the game by using motion sensor and ultrasonic sensor. The motion sensor is used to counteract the vertical shakes and the ultrasonic to detect and customize the triggering. Like you can tap, slide, swipe or continuous triggering. Another worth using feature is the Game Genie, which is an in-game overlay which you can free up the RAM, block incoming calls, enable ad triggers and record the gameplay. With ROG Phone 3, you don't need to worry about the Wi-Fi signal as it equips a lot of antennas which brings ultra stable connection the game you play. Coming to the camera module, since this is a gaming oriented phone, the processing of the picture is not given that much importance. Like you could think practically, whoever buys this phone won't be much of a camera addict. Though it equips 64MP main camera, 13MP ultra wide and 2MP of macro lens. With all that equips, the battery should be draining in minutes, but Asus is even packed that with the 6000 mAh battery, which can last over a day. It's because of the cooling technology it equips so that the charge lasts longer. Even Asus gives additional options to limit the charge to the battery, which increases the lifespan of the battery, which no other manufacturers give that option. With all that said, the bummer for us is the headphone jack. Asus equips the headphone jack for previous generations of rock phone and removed for this generation. Still being a mystery, why phone companies ditches it? And for this phone, the audio jack is pretty much necessary since most of the gamers would like to experience no lag and true audio experience which I think the only downgrade for this phone. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching. Do leave a like, comment and I will try to answer as much as possible and subscribe to have more videos like this.